London and art. I bet that makes you think about museums and galleries. Plenty of those here in London for sure. But the coolest stuff is actually outside on the streets. I'll show you where to spot some of the best artwork here in East London and what informal speech is like. Because today, we're not going to be talking about no food or drinks, don't touch, the temperature has to be just right art, but rather something a little bit more, well, informal. Number three, informal and familiar register in writing. Shoreditch, East London. Here, new street art is popping up all the time, all over the place. Tons of it, and most of it is pretty amazing. Shoreditch is the place to see it. And to find the best places, we're going on a tour with Dave. He's a photographer and tour guide, and he loves street art. This and this draws a lot of attention. A lot of people photograph this and film this. So other artists, they put their art around it because they are now in the ah, picture. OK. Uh, OK. So they're kind of photobombing. A sculptural piece of street art up here. Somebody has thought, I'd like to take that home. And they've tried to chisel it off the wall and they've snapped the feet. Somebody being very rude to somebody else, delivering yeah. a message, how dare you go over my art, you, we hate you kind of thing. That's yeah, amazing. Absolutely. This guy yeah. knows how to use a spray can, that's for sure. This is a, a big bird. It's fishing by the side of the street here and with the food, yes. I love this. This is great. I need to take a picture of it and send it to my friend Julie. Lovely. She'll love it too. Saw this and thought of you. Not sure why. On tour of street art in East London. Crazy pictures. Must go next time you're here. Take care. Usually, informal and familiar register is spoken, but it can also be written in text messages or personal emails, for example. They're like casual conversation, and they're also short, so they use concise language. We can often leave out subject pronouns and auxiliary verbs. Saw this instead of I saw this. Not sure why instead of I'm not sure why and crazy pictures instead of there are crazy pictures here. And the really fun part, punctuation is unimportant and ideas are often joined by commas. Saw this and thought of you, not sure why. Crazy pictures, must go next time you're here. And of course, exclamation points and emojis are used a lot. Informal register, signed, sealed, and delivered.